and here's Eivor. Ah, uh, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albany's Monastery, just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Aver. There was a time when you would follow me without question, because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly, never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. What do we know of this woman? The Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. Enter this sanctuary. This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you! We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key and depart with your strange friend. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. 
And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. How long were you in prison? Some weeks. Perhaps a month. Your so called heresies. Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous. But her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Where you go, I will follow. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fouke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It will give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The language is unknown and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee, O oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god led me here, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you, for preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yaldabaoth, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy, is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end.
Be on your guard. Someone is watching. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop exp I'm over here. I was just explaining. Oh. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Brother Paul! Are you here? Ransacked, from floor to roof. Basim, stand guard outside. This was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked Paul to hide it well. But I do not know where. This moves. It must be there. Brother Paul is very clever. It could be hidden anywhere. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God, in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You, always questioning, second-guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. Patience, brother. We'll find this stone wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower. Inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred our word. Blast stone! We will leave your lands, and not return. Oh, for this? You must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! <laughs> No! Cut them down! Leave none alive! Ava, are you mad? Get behind if please. We had our chance. We will speak of this, Ava. I will not forget. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Ava. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. 
Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind. And he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Eduin? I will. Gidrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Etwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. I ain't in the business of helping you. Dear man. Would you live under Edwin's boot? For that is where you will live. That's Fulke. I'd give a over to any man for enough silver. I have a livelihood to keep. I had silver before I was caged, and I will again. It's a crying shame, your story. A few supplies ain't gonna rewrite the history of the world, woman. Good friend, your wares will bring death to the farmers and merchants of this land. Could you live with such a burden? None of my concern. Not until there's a sword at your neck. It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up! Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold. Wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake writhes, Loki yawls, poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run! Go! How does it end? They all die. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men. The screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff, and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. Best not to draw attention here. What was that?
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? You've spent too much time locked in that fed itself, okay? Weeks of fasting and prayer and abstinence can clarify that which we otherwise fail to see. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich, to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here, to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. The markings of the Ancient Ones, the Isu, the gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I've passed through this doorway once before. But Sigurd, in a dream, not once, a thousand times. A thousand. Does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... fucked. Shadowed. And yet I... I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... I see the great tree of life, her boughs reaching... skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not all your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can deserve better. Please, no, no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! 
my war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurdjörn, I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred, wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke, you with this company? I was, my lord, to recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! Hush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith. For the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must. But treat him with care. What was that? I will shatter them. They shall not get away. Good day. Ranvi. Our work is done in Oxenifordshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived. From one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Fulke is with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order that Basim and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Eivor. Basim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon. So what of the Joy Kanga Fulke? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So... Where to begin? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together.
Cinnabert, your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders. Wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Eivor. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. Ah! You will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Fulke let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be. But it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd. My brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the Maw of Death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. This place swarms with Fulke's people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me. This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. She cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise. Whatever we find there, keep your head. You chastise me like a child, Basil. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddles, sly tongue. No riddles. I sense a greatness within you both. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this godhouse with your blood. Hey, come here a moment! If she's still here, I will burn this Christ house to the ground. Guards! To arms! This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. Then let us go. To arms! This is the place. It's riddled with the stench of her. Help me, Basim. Sigurd is within. Have a care, Eivor. You will play into her hands. The plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it? 
By Odin. This is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spilled, I will take a meat horn more. Details on the Order of the Ancients. Fulke ranks high among them, but is not their head. The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Does it mean these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? Sigurd. Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The Order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. Mm. If he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally... It's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tetman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... she slipped away. 
took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Randri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone. We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come! Clam your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us. You need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the Skalds say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters. For today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> of two. Hey, come here. Fulke. I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Brother! Brother! I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise. You cower for me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. Pity to kill one with such potential. Are you afraid, Fulke? My cause is greater than you can comprehend. 
The light of the morning is all I need to guide me. Why do you hide, coward? You have power, Ava. Maybe more than you know. No more words, poison tongue. Even when I offer the truth, you refuse it. You are more like Sigurd than you know. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one, an archon. Nephilim, Isu, call him what you will. He is reborn. He is my brother and my Jarl, and you are mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Fulke! Damn you to hell! Nobody touch her. She's mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. But my work will live on for all time. we are. Spit and vomit. Shit and soul. Sigurd is so much more. I gave him that understanding. That gift. You gave him pain. Yes. To awaken him. Me. 
Let me walk. Sigurd. Eivor. I will... I will fight. As a thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I'll hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the wolves! From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. <laughs>